And welcome back to another Adobe After Effects tutorial. This one, I'm going to show you how to do some random shapes animation, where I'm basically going to show you how to make your images inside of After Effects wobble or create that bobblehead look where they sort of bounce back and forth and they do it uh, in an infinite loop or, yeah, infinite loop if you want to get all technical. That's a, that's a later part of the tutorial that I'll show you at the end here, guys, but I'm basically going to show you how to bend and bobble and stuff like that. So just buckle up. Let's get right into this and do this, guys. The first step, if you're following along with me, open up After Effects CC and you want to click on New Composition. So create any old composition. I'm going to left click on it. I'm going to rename it. Easy. Bobble. Bobble, wobble, whatever, who cares what you call it. Width 1920 by 1080, that is standard HD footage. That should do just fine. Frame rate, whatever, 30, 30 frames per second. Not a big deal. Same thing with duration. I've set it for to five seconds, but you can set it as long as you want. Uh, all totally up to you. And lastly, I've set the background color to white. It usually defaults to black if this is the first time. Uh, if you're just creating a new composition, it's usually black, but we'll just go with white because you know what? Hey, why not? So, and it also shows the, the technique a little better. So left click on OK, and you'll see we've got Bobble Wobble Composition Opening. Rock and roll. Speaking of rock and roll, let's get right into this, guys. I'm going to use an Elvis Presley uh, PNG. Um, I'm just, you guys can use whatever you want. I am going to take it, and I'm going to drag it and drop it into my basic yeah into my panel here now I am going to now drag and drop my image if you're following along use whatever image you want and drop it right onto the timeline just like that and boom we've got Elvis right in the middle excellent guys now we're gonna basically get this guy going left to right he's gonna be shaking it and wobbling and bobbling and that's what we're going for so the next step make sure you're clicked on your image now you want to go over to your effects and presets if you do not see it, go to Window and drop this down and make sure the check mark is beside Effects and Presets. Once you do that, you want to type in CC space bend it. So yes, we are going to bend it like Beckham. I am going to drag and drop this effect and I'm going to drop it basically right on top of the Elvis Air in the timeline. And boom, you're going to see a weird effect. And this is a little disconcerting and jarring because this isn't what we're going for whatsoever. So what we want to do is if you're on a Mac, hold down the Option key. If you're on a PC, hold down the Alt key. And you're going to see these two little crosshairs, basically. We want to drag and we want to hold down Alt or Option. And we're just going to move those out to the edges. And I'll show you what's happening here. Basically, we want to get more of him in it. There is another way to do that in case your image is a little funky. Uh, there is something called Grow Bounds, but I don't want to overcomplicate this um, just to show you the effect. So we'll, we'll go over that in a future tutorial. So there we go. We've got all of Elvis in there. We held down the Alt or Option key, and boom, there he goes. Now, the next step is I'm going to make sure that my playhead or my current time indicator is set to zero. And I'm going to go up to my Effect Controls panel. Again, if you don't have it, you can always just go in there and make sure it's there. But the Effect Controls panel for me is up here. And I am going to now click on the Bend. And you're going to see I'm going to just drag and drop that down. And boom, there we go. So I'm at the zero seconds. We're going to be working on the Bend. Now I'm going to take this back to... I'll show you. I'm just going to slide it back. There we go, Elvis, getting his hips in this thing. Yeah, there we go. Elvis going back to about minus 15. So I'm just going to type in minus 15. If you're following along, guys, use whatever you guys, whatever the effect you want, whatever kind of bend you want for you, for your uh, composition, do it. So at the zero seconds now, I've gone ahead and set it to minus 15. And I made a mistake, so I'm going to hit Command or Control Z. And we're going to go back to zero. Now, the first thing you want to do here that I didn't do is I need to click the stopwatch. Ah, yes, yeah, good thing I'm making tutorials because... I should know what the hell I'm talking about. Left click on the stopwatch. Now at the zero second, we're going to go back to minus 15. Like I just did. I'm just going to type it in just so we can go quickly here, guys. Apologies for that. I made a slight mistake, but yeah, I could fix it. And then we're going to go forward to the one second mark. Let's say, is this the one second? Yeah. And we're going to type in 15. So a positive 15. So here's what's happening. We go back. I'm just going to hit space bar. And you're going to see over that one second, he does a bend. Now, this is kind of cool, but what I want to show you next is I want to show you how to get him so that he's doing this back and forth the whole composition. So you don't have to keep going in and re-keyframing it and keyframing it and keyframing it. 
that's not really the effect that we want. So I'm going to show you how to do that nice and quick and easy. So we've got our first step. So what you want to do now is you want to go to Elvis or whatever your picture or whatever the hell you guys are working with. Drop that down. Drop down effects. You're going to see CC bend it. You're just going to see I'm clicking the triangles as I go down here. Now, when you're on top of that, hold down Alt or Option and then click on the stopwatch. Where is he? There we go. Click on the stopwatch right here. Left click. Pardon me. And now you're going to see that we get what's called an expression. And the expression is bend. Now, we want to rewrite this. And expressions are a little tricky. But luckily, this one is a piece of cake. This is the ping pong expression. Hell yeah. How good is that, right? It's pretty good. And all you need to do is just follow along exactly with me. Type in, because you're going to see here I'm over top of the... Uh, in the white side in the white bar here you're going to see that I can type it in so I'm going to type in loop l o o p now capital o u t so we want loop out bracket double quotation mark ping pong oops ping pong quotation mark and then bracket so this is a very simple loop out expression that's going to allow us to loop this throughout the whole composition I'm going to hit Basically, well, I'm, gonna hit I'm just going to click out of that. I am now going to go back to the beginning, and we're going to hit spacebar and watch what happens. Elvis is in the building, guys. He's shaking in hips the whole composition, guys. That is all there is to this little cute trick. Now, if you wanted to go even one step further, and let's just say you don't want just some dude doing his little animation. Maybe you wanted to have a video. Let's put Elvis with a puppy dog. Why not, right? He's nothing but a hound dog. Come on. I'm going to drag and drop down some stock footage into the project panel. Drop it there. Now I'm going to put it in the timeline just like this. This is just for extra credit. And you're going to see a puppy dog. And that's not going to look right because Elvis is underneath the dog in the layer stack. So I'm going to move the Elvis up to the top. And what the heck do you know? You've got Elvis rocking out with a puppy dog. Now I'm gonna move Elvis maybe down here so it's a little bit more, I don't know, the dog get more, a little bit more, see the dog. Now let's see what happens. Oh yeah, <laughs> we got Elvis rocking out with a puppy dog, man. That's pretty cool. This is how you do really, really cool tricks, guys. Really cool animations inside After Effects. I got tons more stuff. Thanks for watching this tutorial. I'll be back soon with some more cool stuff. See you soon, bye.